This is the southernmost point in the continental USA buoy in Key West, Florida travel guide. If you come to Key West, it's essential to make a journey to the southernmost point buoy. One of Key West's most iconic landmarks, it also is famous for its 90 miles to Cuba sign. In fact, did you know that Key West is closer to Cuba than it is to Miami? Info in this video will include directions, parking, times, a bit of history, and what to see and do, and of course, we'll share our own experiences and tips. Keep watching this video to get the full details to plan your visit for the southernmost point in the continental USA in Key West, Florida. Welcome to Hip Big. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is Hip Big's Key West, Florida travel guide series. This episode is the southernmost point in the continental U.S. travel guide for visitors to Key West, Florida. Give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. The southernmost point is located at the corner of Whitehead Street and South Street in the historic district of Key West, also known as Old Town. If you are in Old Town, you can easily walk, bike, or even hire a pedicab, which charge about $1.50 per minute to get there. Our hotel was a bit further away, so we decided to drive to the southernmost point in the continental U.S. Public parking in this area is metered parking by electronic pay station near where you are parked. These pay stations accept coins or credit cards. Take the receipt and put it face up on your dashboard. Tip, if you haven't used all your time, you can drive to another spot at another metered parking space and you don't have to pay again. Just Keep your receipt. Metered parking costs $3 an hour. There are multiple ways to get there if you don't have a car. There are two hop-on hop-off tour companies which run in Key West, Old Town Trolley and the world famous Conch Tour Train. The Old Town Trolley hop-on hop-off tour goes to the whole island of Key West, not just the downtown areas, with 13 stops. Old Town Trolley runs from 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. daily, 364 days a year. They're closed on the last Saturday in October for Fantasy Fest. Please exit this trolley at stop 11. The world famous Conch Tour Train runs from 10.15 a.m. to 4.45 p.m. daily. It's closed the last Saturday in October for Fantasy Fest. The tour begins at Front Street Depot and goes through Old Town Key West. Take the Trouville Village stop and walk to the southernmost point in the U.S. If you would like to take public transport, you can take the pink and blue Duval Loop bus, which is free, that makes 16 stops in the historic district. The Duval Loop bus starts at the Key West City's Park and Ride garage on 301 Grinnell Street. If you park in the garage, it's $2 per hour or $13 per day. The Duval Loop stops around the most popular attractions in Old Town, aka Historic District of Key West. It operates daily from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. To get to the southernmost point, exit the Duval Loop bus at stop number 10 and walk down south on Whitehead Street to the end to find the southernmost point. We park near South Beach paid for our parking, and walked down on South Street till we hit the southernmost point. The area of Old Town is quaint. It's full of small historic homes, shops, and cafes. As we got closer, we could see the large red, white, and black buoy, which marks the southernmost point. This giant buoy lies at coordinates 24 degrees 33 minutes north latitude and 81 degrees 45 minutes south latitude. The southernmost point buoy erected in 1983 was not the original marker noting the southernmost point. It was originally marked by a small sign which now stands near the giant concrete buoy. The spot is lovely as you have views of the ocean and the crowds in the morning are friendly as they have not started imbibing any of the local liquid concoctions. Later in the evening, it might be a bit more party atmosphere. There was a line formed on South Street to take pictures here. Next to the southernmost point buoy, you'll find the statue of Bishop Albert Key. 
For decades, Albert Key would stand next to the southernmost point monument, blow on a conch shell, and yell, Welcome to the island! There's usually a line and a crowd to take pictures beside the buoy, especially at dawn and dusk. You can also take pictures uh, behind the red and white black buoy, but just not at the buoy without standing in line. Once it was our turn, we asked the people behind us to take pictures. Usually people who don't want to steal your camera or phone don't wait in a line so long, so they're probably the best people to ask. Locals sometimes stand out in their yards when the lines are long and then gab with tourists, which is kind of fun. Once we took our pictures, we walked back to our car and drove nearby to our next stop, the Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory. You can also combine with a day at South Beach or anywhere in the historic district. To take a picture here, it'll take you less than five minutes, but the line of people who line up to take a picture will determine the amount of time uh, it'll take here. I enjoyed walking in the neighborhood, talking to other tourists waiting, and it is recommended if you want to take that iconic picture of you and the boy. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.